Eat some, bitch. What's up with it, everybody? It's your boy, RDR, and welcome back to RDR Food Reviews. And as you can see, right here at the bottom of the screen and right in front of your face, your boy, RDR, is doing a shrimp cocktail mukbang. That's right, a shrimp cocktail mukbang. Now, uh, uh, happy belated holidays to everybody. Thanksgiving, you know what I'm saying? Uh, all that other good stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, now we're back at it again, getting ready, going towards Christmas. Uh... It's sad. I'll be like mostly on Grinch mode whenever Christmas come around and stuff, and I don't even know why. Well, I do kind of know why, but it doesn't really matter. The point is, is that I'm right here, ready to eat some bitch for you guys right here. And today I got just got some uh, 26 uh, shrimp uh, shrimps right here. You know what I'm saying? I gotta put a tail off of them. I got some cocktail sauce. You know what I'm saying? Look at that shit right there. This is just plain. In some ball. Let's find it to the door now. Gotcha. All right, man. Let's go ahead and get in a quick moment of prayer. Father, thank you for this food I'm about to receive. Help this food nourish my body, make me stronger as a person, stronger as a man. Blessed as they grow hungry, as I pray to you, please find some need. Your holy grace is mine, and I pray. Amen. I love you, Father. All right, now today uh, I got the drink. I got some brewed, uh, some brewed pear leaf, brewed black tea or whatnot. You know what I'm talking about? So I'm ecstatic. You know what I'm saying? For um, I'm ecstatic for the weeks to come here on my channel and stuff. Like I was talking to a lot of people and chop it up. Uh, Saturday and on Friday or whatnot about like the, the big changes and stuff coming to my channel and stuff So I'm just like ecstatic for more so for my subscribers more so than for myself. You know what I'm saying? So uh, if he was there and you and you and you saw or you know, what we was discussing that day uh, I appreciate you tuning in or whatnot and if not sorry for you. You feel me? So all right, man, let's go ahead and see what this is about. Cause see, I ain't never had cocktail sauce. You know what I'm saying? Never had it before. Okay, so pretty much take like this baby right here, little baby. You know how? Huh? Little baby. Stick this bitch right in there. This probably should be here right here. That's some thick sauce, man. Pause. Yeah, right there should be. Mmm. She done clicked up on my jaw. Mmm. <laughs> that is so good, man. I love the taste, man. It's something about when you bite in the shrimp or just, just any anything that's like caught, man, for real. Like you can taste the the ocean. You know what I'm saying? You can taste the ocean up in there. And that's exactly what your boys got out of this. All right. All right, so how my Thanksgiving went? It went, like, I'm, I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. And I know she probably going to kill me, but fuck it. There's always Christmas. Mama already got to step it up, man. <laughs> Look, Cuddy, she got to step it up for Christmas. When she said it herself that, hey, man, she going super all the way out, man. Uh, yeah, man, you know, like, it was just some things. It was some things. Which, don't get it twisted, nigga. I'm grateful for my mama and everything, nigga. But you can tell with some things that she was just like, man. Fuck it. <laughs> and don't nobody know my mama cooking like I know my mama cooking, obviously, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the company was great, of course. My sister, she was there. You know, um, my wife was there. My sister was uh, hogging some kind of peanut butter cake. You know what I'm saying? Telling my wife that I wasn't going to get none. Like some kind of nutter butter cake or something. 
She was guarding that bitch with her life. She must have knew your boy was a peanut butter whore. So, that's how that went. And then uh, it was good. I got to see my cousins. Uh, shout out to my cousins, Destiny and Dave Isha. My cousin Felicia. Beautiful. Beautiful new little cousin. And of course, watching my boys play, you know what I'm talking about? We back in this bitch. You feel me? If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about my motherfucking, the mighty, mighty Dallas Cowboys. You feel me? Back up in this hole. Come. How come y'all didn't tell me about uh, cocktail sauce? That shit is A1. It tastes like ketchup. It's tangy. You know what I'm saying? It's got sweetness with a little bit of tangy in it and whatnot. They complement well, man. I really like this. Now I see why everybody, like, when you first go into a restaurant and stuff, you see a lot of people, they, they get shrimp cocktail. Now I see why they get it. You know what I'm saying? I was always skeptical of that. You feel me? Mmm. But I definitely try. There's so many different ways of how they do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Speaking of that, man. Hey, shout out to uh, my homegirls, Marlon and Keisha. You know what I'm saying? Washington, the Fat Lady Shoes. Hey, we coming for y'all. You feel me? Talking about my boys versus them Saints. Ain't nobody giving us no chance, but but God. So it's going down next Sunday, Cuddy. You feel me? We don't give a fuck who's coming into town. You know what I'm saying? As long as we paying them, I, I mean, as long as we playing hard, it's going hard. <laughs> Fall. <laughs> mm. So yeah, my mother's, you know what I'm saying? She definitely gotta gotta get her weight up. You know what I'm saying? My macaroni and cheese was sad in the bitch this year. I ain't gonna front cut it. It was sad in the hoe. <sighs> Motherfucking macaroni and cheese had scoliosis like a bitch. <laughs> you know it's true, mama. You should have put some fucking life in them bitches. They wanted to fucking just jump overboard, nigga. On some, the motherfuckers was looking like, looking like this motherfucking shrimp right here, beat down and caught. Shit, me. You're better than that. Feel me? Um. And later that day, went over to my in-laws. You know what I'm saying? See, me and my wife, we figured it out. I got called blindsided the first, you know, like, I think like the first year. Me and my wife was dating and stuff. I got called blindsided, Cuddy, because, like, I'm thinking, oh, it's my first time eating Thanksgiving with them. So... I was excited because I've never had like Thanksgiving from like another, you know, uh, ethnicity or from another race, you know what I'm saying? So I'm over here like the Cowboys and shit. I remember that one year, yeah, the Cowboys was playing like I think like at three or something, but it was another team that was playing like at 12. But the point is, is that Cuddy, the, the hours was going by, nigga. It was like we was in purgatory or something like that. And I'm like over here wondering, like, nigga, what are we gonna eat? Like for real, bro. Man, we fucking did not eat Thanksgiving dinner till like 7 o'clock at night, Cuddy. Ain't that a bitch? I didn't know that that shit was like custom, like standard in like so in, in, in the, 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 um, the Spanish communities, you know what I'm saying? Because not only do Hispanics do that, I mean, not only do Mexicans do that, uh, I, Puerto Ricans do that shit, you know what I'm saying? Dominicans be doing that. It be just certain families that do it, you know what I'm saying? But they do do it, and that shit threw me off. You know what I'm saying? I remember you got mad at me when I finally found out. 
that we was go um that they wouldn't eat till like seven o'clock. Cuddy, I took my ass to Jack in the Box that day. I remember that shit. She was mad in the hoe at me. <laughs> How you gonna be mad at me, bro? I'm not used to this shit. Fuck you, niggas be eating pre Thanksgiving dinner the fucking Wednesday night. You know what I'm saying? You think I'm gonna get used to a used to some shit like that? Fuck it, I don't know. No exception this year, nigga. I didn't. I'm cutting. They didn't. They didn't eat Thanksgiving dinner till like seven thirty, bro. Seven thirty, bro. But it was okay, cause like I said, me and my wife, we figured it out. We just take my ass to my mama's, load up and smash over there. And then we take our ass over, cause by then, you know what I'm saying? Cause by then, like we it, it'd be time for supper, you know what I'm saying? Boy, when we got there, <laughs> when we pulled up and we got over there, man. Come in the living room, you know what I'm saying? Come in the living room, my um, I'm gonna let my brother in law, man. He had this this look of just like uh malnourished deficiency, uh, deficiency, you know what I'm saying? Nigga was over there looking hungry than a hoe, nigga. He was just over there, just like, man, nigga said, man, is it right, man? He, man, they're not gonna fucking eat. It's like 7 30. I'm just like, bruh, <laughs> right that button, bruh. <laughs> I said, I know, nigga. They should have showed you the itinerary. Them niggas over here just jolly, nigga. Like, yeah, nigga, we gonna eat at 730. I'm just like, man, y'all niggas just throw. But, you know, my family's so fucking, you know what I'm saying? They niggas throw it off for that shit, bro. For real, for real. 730 Thanksgiving, cut it. Niggas ain't even got no fucking appetizers. You feel me? It wasn't no appetizers to get these niggas to 7.30. You feel me? They out there looking, looking beat down. So, like I said, me and my wife, we figured that shit out. My wife been harassed. She was harassing me the days leading up. To do uh to get the get a Christmas tree and stuff, cause she just like it burns in her pocket. You know what I'm saying? Like it burns like to to like, you know, to see when she see Christmas trees and Christmas lights and stuff like that, man, she go absolute freaking ballistic, which is cool because it's my baby, you know what I'm saying? Like that that's crazy. Like, you know that I've never knew anyone that was so ecstatic about it, which is cool. that I have a little grinch in me. I don't know why that little nigga's inside of me. I'm just like, nigga, it's still November. Like, what are you in such a rush for? This is a bitch, you know what I'm saying? Man, and how we even went and got her Christmas tree was crazy, cut it, because, like, we was just going to go get an oil, a oil change, man. And then she found her way to scoot her buggy all the way She's like, well, let's just go look at the lights and this and that. I'm just like, man, we ain't going to get no tree today. You know what I'm saying? You can wait till after Thanksgiving. Cause you know how to finesse the shit out of me. You know what I'm saying? Finesse me over there. I go over there, pull up. I see three other niggas, three other couples over there looking sick. The, no, the, the dudes is over there looking sick because them niggas out there look like, man. I don't even want to be over here and stuff, you know what I'm saying? This one black dude, this nigga was with um, this Caucasian chick, you know what I'm saying? And she was beefing with this nigga about prices, you know what I'm saying? About, you know, trees and shit. And this nigga's like, it doesn't matter, just fucking get any one you want, Stephanie. <laughs> my wife was like, oh my God, they're doing this out loud? And nigga kids was tucking on that nigga like, daddy, daddy, can we get this? This nigga's like, no, we can't get this. Now come on, Stephanie, let's get this so we get the hell out of here. I'm just like, yeah, nigga. I feel you. And I'm just like, girl, here if we get something so we get the fuck up from over here. You know what I'm saying? This whole section got niggas having nervous breakdowns over here. 
So anyway, man, like I said, she finessed me to go ahead and get a treat early. <laughs> and so the one thing was, bro, bro, I'm just like, I don't understand how come, like, it's cool. We can get the tree and get all this, this, and this, and that. But why I got to help, why I got to decorate the tree, though? I don't care. It's your tree. It's however you want it. Mm -hmm. That's when the Grinch came out, like, for real. Why I got to decorate the tree? I don't care how that bitch going to look. Because if I put my input on that hoe, she going to say something. No, I don't like it like that. This and that. Well, you know what I'm saying? It's craziness. But we finally got that shit complete. I had to cut Chop It Up Friday short. For those that was there, I had to cut that shit short. So I can help her do the tree. So, I'm so glad that shit is out the way. And then, when it was over, she over here like, oh, I think we need to get some more lights and this and this and that. I'm just like, man. I knew that shit wasn't going to be enough, bro. She wants to go all the way out. She want to turn our whole fucking house into fucking Vegas at night. And then... <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, I'm done. You know what I'm saying? You got what you wanted. It's over with. His nigga here was for to have a nut, was for to go crazy if I didn't watch a fucking Christmas movie with her. <sighs> Fuck my life. So that destroyed me for the rest of the night. I'm over here watching a fake ass Christmas movie. With a bunch of cast off niggas from uh, early 90s shows and shit. That shit just had me throw like, man. This already, already start off my, I ain't even in December. I already start off my December bad in the hug. Yeah, I guess I'm a Grinch. Maybe I need to go see that. Hit me in the comment section if you've seen the Grinch. Maybe I should go see the Grinch. You think it's a good idea for me to go see the Grinch? Go see this green dickless nigga. This green dickless ass, uh, old prune face ass, uh, uh, fucking, what, the, the Grinch look like a motherfucking praying mantis in this motherfucker. <laughs> mm. Be clear, man, this, uh, shrimp cocktail, man, I'm glad that I did this video. This is really, really good, man. I can definitely see myself doing that shit again. It definitely so because I gotta cut up, man, for December, man. I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos that's like more grill, baked, boiled, and stuff like that. So I can, so I can uh, get more, get ahead of the curve and stuff, you know, but before niggas start telling lies and stuff in January about, uh, uh, what is it, New Year's resolutions and shit like that? We go ahead and do my shit right now in December. I mean, in November. Mm. So, you gotta look out for that. More grill, more bowl, more steam, all that other good shit. Plus, it's a good. I need to take a break away from fried food, for real. Detox. All right, man. This one right here is for everybody that's been riding with your boy since the very, very beginning. You know what I'm talking about? Already. Everybody and anybody that's been riding with your boy RDR, RDR since uh, the Chipotle video. This last bite is for you. You feel me? Oh, I had to get a lot of sauce on there. Sauce it. Combination is spondylifers. Mm, man. Oh man, not again. <sighs> Delicious. 
That, everybody, is my seafood shrimp cocktail mukbang. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's your boy RDR, and like I always say, man, hey, look, food is a gift, so please give thanks. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you don't like this video, if you really don't like my uh, content, then go ahead and hit it with a thumbs down, because it don't matter. I'm going to love you like I always have. It's your boy RDR, and I'm signing out. God bless y'all. Take care already. I love you guys, and I'll see you very, very soon. The Eat Some Bitch t-shirts are going to be coming sometime maybe uh, like in mid-December or whatnot. So I know a lot of people are going to be asking me about that. So it is going to be coming sometime between mid-December, mid maybe a little bit after Christmas. But it's going to be sometime in December. Uh, so there we go. All right, guys. I'll see y'all soon. God bless y'all. And I love you. And good night.